Greetings in Christ. Welcome to our channel, Heaven's Warning. Wishing you a blessed day in Christ. We hope you enjoy this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated with the latest information. Join us on this journey and listen to this video until the very end. Have you ever paused to consider why some people seem to be ensnared in misfortune while others thrive in constant success and prosperity? Although it may appear to be a mystery, the reality is that the secret lies in the things we accept from others, often without realizing the profound impact they can have on our lives. Padre Pio, one of the most revered saints known for his deep spiritual wisdom, was clear in his teachings. He highlighted five things we should never accept from anyone, as they not only bring misfortune, but can also plunge us into a cycle of poverty and suffering. Imagine for a moment that your life's prosperity or adversity is directly linked to these seemingly small but significant choices. In this article, we will uncover the five spiritual traps that Padre Pio cautioned us to avoid at all costs. These are not mere suggestions, but rather guidelines that can alter your life by dispelling negative energies and paving the way for true abundance. As you explore these hidden dangers, you will realize that what we accept without thought could lie at the root of many of our problems. Have you considered that a simple gift, a malicious piece of advice, or a favor with ulterior motives could be sabotaging your success? The wisdom of Padre Pio teaches us to be very careful and selective about what we accept, for not everything that seems harmless is truly so. The first spiritual trap is accepting gifts without questioning the giver's intentions. At first glance, a gift may appear to be an act of love or friendship, but Padre Pio warned us about poisoned gifts. These items, even the most cherished ones, can be laden with negative energies, envy, or ill will that deeply and harmfully infiltrate our lives. A malevolent gift can bring bad luck and trigger health issues, family tensions, or financial troubles. Take the example of a woman who received a piece of jewelry from a distant relative. Initially, she valued the gift for its sentimental meaning, but shortly after accepting it, her life began to unravel. Financial difficulties, illnesses, and family disputes emerged. Padre Pio taught that such poisoned gifts can be carriers of destructive energies, deeply affecting our existence. Therefore, it is crucial to practice spiritual discernment and be aware of what we accept from others. When we receive something, we should not only assess its material value, but also consider the energy and intentions behind that gesture. A clear illustration of this principle is the story of Juan, a successful businessman. After accepting an expensive watch from a competitive business partner, Juan faced a series of financial failures. What he did not realize was that this partner harbored deep envy, and that gift, rather than symbolizing friendship, was intended to sabotage his success. Before long, Juan lost clients, demonstrating how even a seemingly generous gift could be laced with negativity. The second aspect we must consider is the allure of easy money. The narrative advises caution against acquiring money through dubious means, such as gambling or illicit activities, as these can lead to unforeseen misfortunes and a downward spiral. Padre Pio cautioned that not all money brings prosperity or peace. Wealth acquired from questionable sources may carry an invisible curse. Padre Pio sought to teach us that gains obtained through immoral means come with a far higher cost than their nominal value. What might initially seem like a blessing can ultimately lead to negative consequences that undermine both financial stability and personal peace. This type of money often brings a chain of misfortunes, including unexpected financial losses, health problems, broken relationships, and a constant sense of unease. Consider the case of Carlos, a businessman who, in a moment of financial desperation, accepted a substantial sum from a partner involved in illicit activities. Initially, the money appeared to solve his problems, and his business flourished. However, as time passed, Carlos faced legal issues that nearly drove his company to bankruptcy. His health deteriorated without medical explanation, and his marriage crumbled under external pressure and mistrust. It was only after he chose to return the money and sever ties with his partner that his life began to improve. Though he had to start over, Carlos realized that the peace and stability he had lost were far more valuable than any amount of money. Next, we must be vigilant about toxic words. 
Not all comments or critiques we receive are given with good intentions. Padre Pio warned against the dangers of accepting negative criticism or destructive advice from others, stressing the importance of filtering the words we allow into our lives to safeguard our self-esteem and potential for success. The case of a young entrepreneur highlights this risk. After following the advice of a supposed friend, he watched as his business collapsed. Only then did he realize that his friend was more interested in seeing him fail than in helping him succeed. This underscores the need for us to carefully filter the words we accept into our lives. The fourth point discusses the risks associated with accepting favors that come with hidden expectations. Not all acts of kindness are selfless. Sometimes they disguise ulterior motives. Padre Pio's spiritual wisdom reminds us to be cautious about accepting favors that carry unspoken obligations. These seemingly harmless gestures often entangle us in emotional or moral debts that can later feel like shackles. The story of Marta illustrates this danger. Initially, her neighbor Pedro offered to help her with small tasks around the house. Marta believed he was simply being a good friend. However, as time passed, she began to notice that Pedro's kindness came with unspoken expectations. He pressured her into caring for his home during his travels, and even asked for financial assistance in dubious situations. What started as a genuine friendship gradually morphed into a web of emotional manipulation, where Marta felt trapped and unable to escape. Ultimately, she realized that the favors she accepted were laden with hidden agendas, and only when she sought spiritual guidance and severed those toxic ties did she begin to regain her autonomy and peace of mind. This story teaches us that favors with ulterior motives are rarely free, and that we must remain vigilant about the true intentions behind them. Finally, we must address the significance of the relationships we cultivate. Padre Pio cautioned about the immense impact toxic relationships can have on our lives. The individuals we surround ourselves with can either positively or negatively affect our energy, personal growth, and prosperity. Being around negative, envious, or malicious individuals can drain our vitality and attract misfortune, obstructing our path toward success. Padre Pio taught that we should be discerning when selecting those with whom we share our lives, avoiding individuals who fill us with pessimism and resentment. The story of Anna serves as a poignant reminder. Surrounded by friends and family who constantly demotivated her, Anna mistakenly believed that enduring their negativity was part of life. However, the more time she spent with them, the more stagnant her life became. Her energy dwindled, and her personal and professional projects stalled. It wasn't until she learned from Padre Pio's teachings that she decided to make a change. By distancing herself from energy-draining individuals and seeking the company of those who inspired her, Anna experienced a significant transformation. Her energy returned, her projects flourished, and she finally felt she was on the right track to achieving her goals. Alongside these spiritual warnings, the text also touches on the prophecies of Saint Malachi regarding future popes and the challenges faced by the Catholic Church today, particularly under Pope Francis. It emphasizes the urgency of spiritual preparedness, especially in light of potential upcoming tribulations, including a significant global blackout and transformations due to solar activity. The faithful are called to deepen their connection with God through prayer and preparation for challenging times. Miraculous stories associated with figures like Sister Luigina Traverso, who experienced a healing attributed to the Virgin of Lourdes, serve as powerful reminders of faith and the miraculous possibilities that can unfold. As we reflect on these teachings, it is essential to consider how often we have accepted gifts, favors, or relationships without questioning their true intentions. The warnings from Padre Pio are not simple suggestions. They are vital guides for living with integrity, peace, and prosperity. By making conscious decisions and avoiding traps disguised as goodwill, we can safeguard our lives, our souls, and walk the path of virtue. In an age where negativity can seem pervasive, embracing the lessons from Padre Pio reminds us that discernment, awareness of our influences, and active faith are crucial tools for navigating the challenges that lie ahead. This journey towards spiritual readiness can open doors to healing, transformation, and the flourishing of our true selves. Let us take to heart the importance of careful consideration in our interactions and relationships. 
The wisdom imparted by Padre Pio invites us to protect our lives from negative influences and to cultivate an environment that fosters growth, positivity, and spiritual abundance. In closing, let us remain steadfast in our faith and committed to seeking the light and miracles that can transform our lives. Together, we can navigate these complexities and emerge stronger, grounded in the love and grace that divine providence offers us all. Thank you for being part of this journey. Your presence and engagement make this exploration meaningful and impactful. Until next time, may you find inspiration and hope in the shared stories of our human experience.